In number 12, we are given the following function of a sine wave and are asked to find the frequency, the wavelength, and the speed of the wave. The first thing we have to do is list our knowns and unknowns. We are given the amplitude, the wave frequency, angular frequency, and the wave number. And so now we have to find the frequency, the wave length, and the velocity. We can look at our list of equations that are given and use our givens to find our unknowns. Because angular frequency is equal to 2 pi f, we can simply rearrange this equation so that we can find f. And so we get f is equal to w over 2 pi, which will be 124 divided by 2 pi, and we get a frequency of 20 hertz. We have found f, and now we can move on to finding either wavelength or velocity. If we look at these two equations, we don't know velocity yet, we don't know wavelength, and we don't have a period. So we can skip velocity and find wavelength. To find wavelength, we can look at the equation of k, which is 2 pi over wavelength, and just rearrange that so that we can find wavelength. So our wavelength is going to be equal to 2 pi over k, which is 2 pi over 2.7, and we end with a wavelength of 2.3 meters. So now we have frequency and wavelength. We can finally move on to velocity. But looking closer at this equation written down, we don't have period, so we have to find an equation that incorporates frequency. And that's simple because t is the same as 1 over f. And we can just replace that and rearrange the equation for us to get velocity, which is wavelength over 1 over frequency. And that is going to be 2.3 meters over 120 hertz. 120 hertz. And we end up with a final velocity of 46 meters per second. And so now we have our frequency, our wavelengths, and our velocity.